Welcome to the channel everybody. So today is gonna be one of my favorite mods that we can even do to a vehicle. Before we get started though, listen to how quiet my truck is. This is a new build on the channel, the Cummins Titan. Listen to how ridiculously quiet this thing is. So as you can tell, the idle is pretty quiet. I'm gonna get in it and give you guys some revs, but you probably won't notice. Nissan and Cummins work together and with the EPA to make sure that this is one of the cleanest running and quietest running trucks on the market. But my goal is to change that. So we're going to be doing that with this because we need to make this thing loud. I mean, come on, it needs, it can't breathe. It's got all these tunes now. And when you're on tune five, it's got like 120 more horsepower than usual. So we really need to get the air out because it's getting a lot more air into the engine. But we can't get it out. So this is how we're going to be doing that. So this is a four inch exhaust. Now it is not a full exhaust. It just gets rid of all the main stuff that you need. So it keeps the stock down pipe. It keeps some of the stock pipe. And then the rear, this pipe is actually four inches. And then it goes back all the way through there. This pipe just mates to that one. You may be saying, why didn't you go five inch? Well, this is one of the cheapest exhaust systems I've ever gotten. For my F-250, my exhaust was $600. For the Raptor, it was $1,250. And most exhausts are pretty much between that area. This was $300 for this. So it's gonna completely delete the DEF. I mean, electronically speaking, tune-wise, we're already deleted, but this is just gonna be the physical delete. And so we're gonna do a lot of unwiring and a lot of like valves taken off to get this exhaust on. It's gonna be fun. And um, we're gonna lose a lot of weight. We're gonna lose a lot of restriction. It's gonna be so much better for the truck. This is one of the smaller diesels on the market. It's a 5.0 liter Cummins and it doesn't put out a whole lot of power. And so it doesn't really need a five inch exhaust. A four inch exhaust is plenty for this truck. And also I save a lot of money doing that. To get a full five inch exhaust for this would be $800 because they don't make a lot of them. And I don't have a tip for it yet. Eventually I'm gonna have to get a tip, but for now we're gonna be going stealth mode, I guess you could say, but this thing is gonna be super loud, fully straight pipe. You guys can see there's all these little complicated dials and stuff like that. We're just gonna pull it all off. I don't really know how much of this works. I don't really care. So there's a dial right there. I don't even know how we're gonna how do you even get that off? Is that a clip? So we're gonna start by getting all these off and then unbolt it and then pull it off and bolt the new one in. Should be fairly easy. I think I can just, oh yeah, they just pry out. Really, it's that easy? You just pry it out and then, oh, cool. And then you pull it, I think. Cool, that's easy. So I got all the little dials off. Well, this one was kind of tricky, but got them off and I uh, realized there's some more that need to come off, but I'm not gonna be able to get them off until, until I can lower the exhaust. So I need to go ahead and start unbolting. Ah! Ah! I was pulling off the catalytic converter so there's a wire right here. There's a wire right there. I gotta pull the wire off and then everything will come out and then we can start to get the rest off and then put the new stuff on. I actually have to hurry because I have to go to, well actually I kinda don't have to worry. I have about two hours until I have to leave to go to work. So we gotta get this done pretty quick. All right guys, so this is just half of the DEF system. This is what I'm talking about whenever I say that they're extremely complicated and how they get the fluid, the DF fluid through, is a whole big deal. So you have these welds and these welds all represent different sections. So this part is one of the different sections and then this part is another different section. That could be the SCR, that could be the diesel particulate filter, it could be the catalytic converter. It could be a whole long sort of things. And that is broken and that is that too. That's kind of weird. But this is why you want to delete your diesels. Because look at how much restriction. You can't get any air through there. You can see the dial where the DF comes out, but you can't get any air through there. I mean, these trucks can't breathe. Here's another reason why you would delete your truck. You guys see all that? It gets worse the farther you go down. It just gets more restrictive. Light can't even pass through it. But yeah, that's the full exhaust out. Now it is time to put the new in and mate it with that. And then we'll be done. All I have to figure out is which bolts go where. So I assume these three bolt that into there and then these two clamp in the other pipes with that and with 
the second ones and the first pipe is in so you guys can see the difference this is the new pipe going in these are two of the old ones you know more complicated is not always better because this is just metal that's it these are valves and lines and wires and tech and stuff that i don't even understand this is just metal and it's better more power less restriction better fuel economy i mean everything better longevity i mean this is trash this we're gonna keep it simple here so we were trying to get this uh pipe back on but it's so clamped in that it won't come on so i'm gonna have to find another solution so i have to go to work so i can't finish this tonight i'm gonna have to finish it another time i'm gonna have to open this up or something like that to get it on but the pipe stops right there and it is completely straight pipe so let's go in and get the first start up are you excited yeah i can't wait <laughs> time you've heard it like that i know you hear the whistling so obviously it'd be a lot louder if that was there because it'd be directed at us right now it's kind of muffled by the truck itself That's really loud. That like hurt my ear loud. The neighbors are gonna love that. I know. That's awesome. That thing is ridiculously louder. I wish we could have finished this, but I have to go uh, into up to work. All right, everyone. So it is the next day. We're gonna be finishing up the exhaust on the truck. I have a new plan on how we're gonna finish it. So last night I had to go to work, uh, so I didn't have time to really finish this. And we could not get this pipe around the, the new pipe on there. And I think maybe the new pipe's a little too wide. Maybe this was clamped after so many years and it's now uh, not wide enough to go around. Either way, the options are either to widen this out and slide it over or have it welded in. So the problem with widening it out is that you need a tool that exhaust shops have. And apparently no exhaust shops around here even have a four inch widener because people don't typically work on diesel exhaust around here for some reason. And so I called a ton of shops to get their opinion and this and that. And one guy said, hey, if you want to just bring it over here, we'll weld it in there and then um, we'll, we'll install the exhaust and weld it in there for 40 bucks. As much as I would like to finish this out myself, I don't really have a widening tool and they can just weld it in for like 40 bucks. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to throw this in the back of the truck. So everybody, I would love to bring you guys along to see this exhaust getting welded and see it all getting put on and seeing the shop. I would really love to do that. But last time I was there, the guy said to me, hey, don't ever come around there again, bring in that camera. I have five felonies out of the state of Florida. And I laughed and he goes, no, 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 I'm serious. Do not bring that camera over here. And so I have this idea of leaving the camera at home. So I think we're gonna do that. But in the meantime, I will be back and the exhaust will be done. All right, everyone, so I'm back from the exhaust shop. The exhaust is on, it's pretty loud, and uh, looks it's just so much smoother this way. It's all more refined and better. I can actually hear myself in the cab, uh, but it's still loud and fun. So the guys at the shop, they use this weird like machine thing to open up the pipe and then slide it on, and then they bolted it in, and then they were like, hey, how strong do you want it? I'm like, pretty strong. And so then they took, some, uh, they took a welder and they tack welded it on. So I have it bolted in and tack welded which means this thing is not going anywhere. It's pretty strong. So let me go ahead and get some revs for you. I'll rev it lightly, rev it hard. I'll do everything so you guys can hear it. And then uh, we'll get some driving clips and all that. This is, I love this exhaust. It's so much fun. Another really cool thing about getting that old exhaust off of there and getting everything deleted and tuned right and everything's right on the truck is it is so incredibly smooth. It's one of the smoothest engines I've ever 
ever driven. And that probably has something to do with Nissan. Nissan kind of prides themselves on having really smooth engines. You look at their RB26s and their KA24s, their VK56s, their VH45s, like the VH, the VK, the RBs, the Ks, all their engines pride themselves on being extremely, extremely smooth running engines. And so with the, I think this is called a V50. I need to check on that because V8, 5.0 liter, you know, but it's a Cummins. So even though it's a Cummins, I'm sure Nissan demanded it be smooth. And it was smooth before, but my goal was like, let's really get that smoothness out of this build. Let's really get power, smoothness, and just a really nice driving experience. And I think we're slowly accomplishing that um, because with the tunes and the exhaust, getting all that old stupid emission stuff out of there is really opened it up and really lets it be smooth. Driving down the road, it feels so much better. Getting on it is just, I keep saying smooth, but it, I mean, it's just, it's smooth. Um, a way to make it even more smoother and run better and run more healthy. Healthy is a big word. It does feel like it should now. Another way to do that is to add more air coming in, not just air coming out. So intercooler pipes, cool air intake, uh, charge pipe, um, porting some things on the air intakes, uh, up pipe, the down pipe, stuff like that. You know, we can really get some more air moving through this engine the way it should be. By the way, for the factory, these things are about 310 horsepower. My goal is to be right under or right at 600 um, by the time the bill is over, over, which is going to be probably right where my F250 was, but much more smoother, much better power. Like it's going to, the percentage isn't going to go down as much whenever it gets to the wheels. Um, and I mean, everything's just going to run so much more efficiently. So guys, before I get you some more driving clips, go and subscribe to see this build because it is going to be so much fun and uh, it already is so much fun. And, um, I would just love for you guys to subscribe and see more of it, but let's go in and get some more driving clips of this thing. I did all that under 20 miles an hour. Well guys, I really like this exhaust. I think it turned out perfect. If you guys like it, let me know in the comment section. But with that being said, go and subscribe, hit the notification bell, browse the rest of the videos, and uh, I'm out. I actually am known for my small arms, and anytime when I worked at Outback that they got locked out of the office, I would stick my hand through the envelope thing and pull them. That's exactly what I need you to do. Okay. We'll